In this webcast, we'll go over some of the things that you need to know when drawing acid-base equilibria, and also give you a primer on how to properly input this into ACE Organic. Some things to notice about these particular equilibrium equations is that each side of this equation will have one proton donor and one proton acceptor. So just one acid and one base on each side of the equilibrium. And just like reactions, the charge and the stoichiometry must be balanced on both sides of the arrows. So now let's go over how to properly draw your arrows within ACE Organic so ACE can recognize exactly what you're trying to do. Step one is click on the electron source. We'll click on this two electron arrow. Be sure you click on the two electron arrow. And start on where the electrons come from. In this case, our base is going to be the lone pair on the oxygen of water. So we hover over that atom and make sure we have that blue circle to designate that is the particular atom's lone pair that we're going to start our electron flow from. Step two, start moving this cursor towards the proton that it's going to pick up. In this particular case, we're picking up one of those hydrogens coming off of the positive nitrogen. And as you move closer and closer to one of those protons, you'll notice a point maybe about 80% of the way to that particular atom where you see a dashed line between those two atoms. That dashed line indicates that a new single bond is going to be formed, based on your arrow, between those two atoms. Notice, do not take it all the way over to that particular atom. You want to make sure that you have that dashed line indicating to ACE Organic that you're creating a new bond. Step three, after you've checked to make sure that the two blue parentheses are around the atoms that you actually want, release the mouse. Step four, be sure you check each arrow before submitting. For example, we're creating this new bond between oxygen and hydrogen, and by hovering our mouse over that, we see a blue rectangle indicating where this new bond is going to be formed. Step five, you want to draw the next arrow for this particular proton transfer reaction. In this case, if we were to end our reaction, right here, we would have too many electrons around that hydrogen. You would have four when the maximum hydrogen can have is two. So we need to move two electrons away from that hydrogen in order to satisfy hydrogen's duet rule. So the electrons we're going to move are the two electrons of that nitrogen-hydrogen bond. So to make sure you're actually moving the electrons of that bond, hover your mouse over the bond and make sure you see those two blue parentheses around the nitrogen and hydrogen to make sure those are the electrons you're going to be moving. Step six, start this arrow with the tail right there and then ending those electrons to that electron sink. That N plus is going to be receiving these electrons so you want to make sure you draw your arrow ending on that nitrogen and you'll be able to tell that with that blue circle around nitrogen. Step seven is to complete the structures in the other side of the box using the double click copy paste method. Click the select button, double click any atom within the structure. You just go to copy, paste, and paste that structure into the box. Repeat the process with water. And now correct your Lewis structures. Now to know which side of the equilibrium this is going to lie on, whether it's going to be to the right or to the left, we use our charge stability. And we always look at our charge species. We have a positive nitrogen and we have a positive oxygen based on our charge stability trends. We know that a positive nitrogen is going to be more stable than a positive oxygen. So therefore, the actual equilibrium for this particular reaction lies to the left. In this webcast, Hopefully you were able to see how to draw your arrows in ACE Organic so that way we make sure that everything that you mean to draw gets interpreted by the computer correctly.